Namaste, hello, hola, salut, bonjour, whatever you call it as. Take it as a hello from Dr. C.A. Rupalsha. In this series of videos of management accounting, we are learning analysis and interpretation of financial statements. We have already learned the format suitable for analysis for balance sheet and income statement. So once your balance sheet and income statement is in this vertical format, next step is the tools of analysis. What tools of analysis? Four tools of analysis that we are discussing are first, comparative analysis, second, common size analysis, third, trend analysis, and fourth, ratio analysis. In the previous video, we have discussed about comparative analysis. This video will focus on common size analysis. Now, what is this common size analysis? And why do we need this common size analysis? Let me explain you. If I say, this year, my company has made profit of 20,000. Good, bad. How do we know? Profit can be good or bad only when you compare it with your sales. If I make 20,000 profit by making just sales of 1 lakh, it's good. If I make 20,000 profit by making sales of 1 crore, I don't think it's that good. Exactly. So what we are trying to do is, if I have 2 years, one year's profit is 10,000, another year's profit is 20,000. I cannot just directly say that second year is good. I have to see it in relation to the sales. So what I do is, I bring two years on the same platform. I bring two years on common size. And then I compare the profit of two years. Then it makes sense. Same type of tool can also be used for two companies. If I have company A, 10,000, company B, 20,000 profit. Which company is better? You cannot comment directly. You have to bring two companies on the common platform, bring it to the common size. Common size means bring it at the same level of turnover, same level of total funds. Then you can compare two companies or two years. Let me explain you with the help of an example. So we are taking example of, first example, balance sheet. So instead of taking two companies, we have taken two years. First year. My share capital is 1 lakh. Only 1 lakh will not help me. So what I'm doing is I'm going to compare the share capital with relation to the total funds. So total funds of the previous year is 10 lakh. I will assume this 10 lakh to be 100%. If 10 lakh is 100%, how much is 1 lakh share capital? That's how we find out the percentage. Let's see the formula for previous year percentage. How do we calculate previous year percentage? The previous year amount multiplied by 100 divided by previous year total funds. In this example, it is 1 lakh into 100 divided by 10 lakh, which is 10%. So are you getting it? What am I doing? I'm making a simple cross multiplication. If 10 lakh is 100%, how much is 1 lakh? So share capital is 10% of the total funds in the previous year. Now let's see what happens in the current year. Current year share capital is 1 lakh 50,000. But the total funds have also increased to 30 lakhs. Again, total funds will be considered as 100%. And then we will calculate the percentage for share capital. Simple cross multiplication again. If 30 lakh is 100%, how much is 1 lakh 50? Same formula. Current year amount into 100 divided by current year's total funds. This example, 1 lakh 50,000 into 100 divided by 30 lakhs which will give me 5%. So can you see in this example, the absolute amount of share capital has increased from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50. But when you see in relation to total funds, share capital in the previous year was just 10% of the total funds. And now in the current year, it's only 5% of the total funds. So the entire interpretation changes. That's the very reason why we use this common sense analysis. Let's see a second example of income state. In your income statement, gross profit of the previous year is 10,000. Profit, as I told you, will be compared with the net sales. So net sales of the previous year is 1 lakh. This 1 lakh will be considered as 100% and then we will compare. If 1 lakh is 100%, how much is 10,000 gross profit? Formula for that is previous year amount multiplied by 100 divided by previous year's net sales. Substituting the values, 10,000 into 100 divided by 1 lakh, which gives me 10%. So 
So gro gross profit in the previous year is 10% of the net sales. Now let's see what's happening in the current year. Current year's gross profit is 20,000 whereas the net sales has also increased to 4 lakh. Again, net sales will be taken as 100% and then we cross multiply. So if 4 lakh is 100%, how much is 20,000? Substitute in the formula current year amount into 100 divided by current year's net sales which is 20,000 into 100 divided by 4 lakh which gives me 5%. So what is happening here is gross profit in the previous year was 10% of the net sales whereas in the current year is 5% of the net sales. I am repeating the formula for you. How do we calculate the percentage? Percentage will be calculated as amount multiplied by 100 divided by the net sales amount. Looks simple to you? This common size analysis can be used for two companies or two years or even just for one year. If I just want to know how much is my profit, how much is my expense as compared to net sales, then we can find out by using this tool of common size analysis. I hope this video was helpful to you to understand the common size analysis. And the next videos will explain you other tools which is trend analysis and ratio analysis. If you like this video, do subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you.